Yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah, there we go. Okay, when you release it right over here. It's still in there. There. Oh, look, it hid right under the basket. You see him, he's right under there. That is so funny. <laughs> We're here today at the Middlebury River and our third graders are releasing the brook trout that they've raised from eggs this year in our program, Trout in the Classroom. The Mary Hogan Elementary School in Middlebury is one of 23 Vermont schools participating in the Trout in the Classroom project, a national program that was created by Trout Unlimited. This program allows kids to discover how important watersheds are because they're trying to raise the, this precious species, uh, our native brook trout, in their classroom. It's not easy, but they put a lot of effort into it because it really matters. It's not textbook learning, it's not abstract, it really, uh, they want to see those fish survive, they want to be able to release them in a stream like this. There it goes. Today is, is all about learning about this ecosystem. The trout release is a really small part of the day. Uh, it's about learning about the, the ecosystem in which the trout are living in. They're, they are, they are the, the tool, the means to the end, which is in what ways do our kids uh, either positively or negatively impact an ecosystem and, and looking at all the interconnectedness of this, this area. The classroom portion of the program begins in January when the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department provides trout eggs from the Roxbury Fish Hatchery. For the next five months, the students perform daily water chemistry tests, study trout development, and their habitat needs. So this is a buffer zone. On the release date, everything taught in the classroom is connected to the real world. I've designed the day so we have five different stations uh, for students to be learning about this ecosystem. So one of the stations, students are learning about the riparian zone for trees and how important that is for bank stabilization, for uh, helping to filter contaminants, providing shelter. Whoa. We have another station where students are learning about macroinvertebrates and they're, so they're using uh, kick screens and they're, they're collecting actual insects from the, the river and I'd, identifying how maybe a caddis or a mayfly or stonefly can be a predictor for a healthy ecosystem. Well, those are the insects you tend to find in, in healthy rivers. It's a bug with pointy. That's a caddisfly larva and this type of caddis makes a protective case. You see the sticks? And the, little, and the little bits of sand and so forth, he made a case to, to be protected from, from that brook trial. Students also spend time studying the chemical and physical properties of the river, as well as learning how to identify different birds found in upland habitats within the watershed. The thing that I really want to see the kids get out of this is a, a better understanding of that first law of ecology, um, which states everything is connected to everything else. And though we're not directly in the stream at this particular station, they're, hopefully they're going to see the importance of how this is connected and why this is a, such an important environment. At the Electro Fishing Station, Joe Fluelling, a technician for the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department, shocks the stream to capture fish in the river, a technique that's used by the department on many rivers as a way to determine fish populations and overall health of the ecosystems. Um, this is a good representation of typical age classes that we find up in these headwater streams. So these are the same kind that you raised in your classroom. When we started this process, our goal was to engage students, but especially those students who maybe are, are not so invested in, in learning in a traditional classroom. And I can say with complete confidence that we've captured some of those kids and so we are able to to tie in some of the work we're doing with the trout from today. Now we're going to be doing some writing. Now we're going to be doing some, some learning and reading about ecosystems. And, and they have something to anchor that to now. And so that, that's the biggest benefit to this program is get, get them wet, get them dirty, and, and you have them. They're, that's their hook. Thanks to the Trout in the Classroom program, teachers of all grade levels are now creating a new generation of environmentally conscious students throughout the state and having a lot of fun doing it. There it goes! We wanted to have our students engaged in a project where we could help develop in them an understanding of the natural world, but also to develop an understanding that we want them to be good stewards of the environment. We firmly believe that this will help them make good decisions about watching out for their resources as they grow.